It's important to understand this when we think about technology. If you took your precious iPhone and somehow I could time travel you back to the Middle Ages, which is what, like 600 years ago? I don't even know, 1,000 years ago. And you showed it to some peasant in the French countryside, they'd probably burn you as a witch, but assuming it turned on even with there's no network, they would be shocked by it. This technology is what? A couple hundred years to a thousand years more advanced than the times. Extraterrestrial technology in many cases is several hundred million years more advanced than ours. Keep that in mind. So when people talk about, well, I was abducted, you think it takes anything for an extraterrestrial to abduct you by just teleporting you out, out of your house? They don't have to come in your house and grab you and caliprod you onto a ship. They just remove you, they can return you like this, and no, no difference. Everyone's memory can be wiped. It's easy. People who've been, here's another way you can know if you've been heavily hybridized. Think back one day in your spare time. Try to think about your past. I think back. I don't remember anything. Most of my childhood's deleted. Most of my life's been deleted. I'm 52 years old. I hardly remember anything. Why is that? Because most of, most, has been, most of my memories have been wiped. They had to be. So you're lucky if that's all that happens. Because what they usually do is they give you false memories instead of wiping your memories. The problem with that is it destroys your mind. So one day you end up with Alzheimer's, you fall apart. So it's actually a blessing if you don't remember anything. Because that means they saw enough value to not destroy you. Because if they see no value in you, they just re rewrite your memories with screen memories. So you won't remember what happened, or you'll see things in a distorted way. I was on an alien craft, but I felt I was on a yacht. It was all tampering with your head. 